Welcome back to the channel everyone. In this video I will be talking about copper clad aluminum wiring in residential houses. So I'm in a new housing development right here and it's built by a large home builder company and this is the electrical wiring in an electrical box. So just by looking at it, it looks pretty normal. Um, looks like regular copper wiring but upon closer inspection of this wiring it is actually copper clad aluminum wiring so you can see there at the point of that wire it's actually aluminum at the core so what this is it's about it's over 90 percent aluminum on the inside and the copper was just added uh, to the ex to the exterior of the aluminum to uh, make the wire have better performance so this is uh, it's actually not a new concept, this wiring. This uh, was used before in the 1970s for a short period of time after they had issues with aluminum branch wiring. So this wiring right here, which looks like copper, it's not. It's, it's a, a mix of copper and aluminum. It's actually, so it's called copper clad aluminum or sometimes it's abbreviated CCA. So how do you know you have this in your house? Because as you can see, you can hardly you can hardly tell. So the biggest giveaway is the size of the wires. So the size of the wires have to be upgraded one size versus what would have to be used for a solid copper wiring. So here's a dryer circuit. There's your outlet if you were to use a gas dryer but here's an electric dryer circuit and you can see it has an orange cable so normally a dryer circuit is going to have 10 gauge wire uh, 10 gauge copper wire which will have an orange cable and be good for 30 amps well in this case this orange cable is actually copper clad aluminum and it's still 30 amps but you can see that the cable see if I can focus here the cable is actually copper clad aluminum so it's eight gauges it's eight gauge wire but the eight gauge wire is only good for 30 amps of circuit so you have to upgrade the size by one in order for it to be able to carry the same load as copper because copper clad aluminum like I said the aluminum carries most of the load so for instance in this box right here we have a yellow wire 20 amp circuit all right well, if we look at this wire, this is 10. This is number 10 gauge. And the 10 gauge is good to carry 20 amps of load, where in copper, 10 gauge would normally carry 30 amps of load. This right here, these white cables, are 12 gauge for 15 amps. So in a copper clad aluminum house, which is something that they just started doing recently again. Um, it's not, it's something that's been done recently um, and then a little bit in the 70s. But you'll have all your white circuits, which are 15 amps, are going to employ 12 gauge wire. All your yellow circuits, like this one, which are 20 amps, will employ 10 gauge wire. And we might be able to see right there it'll say 10 gauge i'll show you that closer you know later but like right here it says eight american wire gauge that's orange that's only for 30 amps where normally in eight gauge you could do 40 amps but with this eight gauge it's 30 amps um so let's see i'll just show you a little more here so this is the material right here you can see right there Let's see. 10 gauge. It says NMB 2 times 10 American wire gauge plus 10 American wire gauge ground copper clad aluminum. So that that is the material right there. Now as we enter the kitchen here. Here we have some more 10 gauge uh, this appears to be a junction box of some sort.
this is a 10 gauge this is more 10 gauge and this right here is an oven uh, a wall oven if we look at that I'm not sure this looks like it's a six gauge so where you would normally have an eight now they upgraded to a six and this is more 10 and what you'll notice about this is aluminum is a soft metal so it's actually going to bend a lot easier than your copper wire and th like this right here is a 10 gauge ground wire and it bends easier than a 12 gauge copper so that's another way to tell that you have this is it will bend very easily and it will be one size upgraded now since this is aluminum on the inside you would think maybe you need some special outlets or some special terminations but that's one of the advantages of this product since it has that copper cladding on it there's absolutely no need to do anything special with it so you can put a regular outlet on this you can put a regular circuit breaker and regular wire nuts. So this is a kitchen ceiling right here. And we see there's some pendant and some can lights that have been roughed into the ceiling. And these are using white 12 gauge wiring. So there will be no 14 gauge wiring in this house anywhere because the minimum size is 12. And you can see uh, regular wire nuts have been used. So you can twist this material together like you would a regular copper wire and put a regular copper wire wire nut on it. So there's a there's a termination point. Now because this wire is thicker, since it has at least you know it's at least a 12 gauge size, you will not be able to backstab this wire into a receptacle. You're gonna have to use a loop, a loop around a terminal screw which is completely acceptable. Here I have a piece of the material. This is a 12 gauge ground wire and it bends really easily. It's aluminum so you know at the core it looks like copper it looks like a copper wire but aluminum at the core so it does bend extremely easily. Here's a four gang switch box. And this is something that's not just employed on the bigger circuits. This is something that they've used in the entire house. And the main reason you use it is because it's actually at a discount over solid copper wiring because there's not as much copper in it. There's just a termination. And, and there's really, you don't do anything different. The only thing that you need to keep in mind you can see like this is very easy it's easier to work with this because of the softness of the aluminum the only thing you need to keep in mind is you're going to fill your boxes up more because now instead of putting 12 gauge you're putting 10 into a box so you're going to have to make sure that your boxes are large enough to accommodate the bigger wire And that's pretty much copper clad aluminum wiring in a residential house used for branch circuits as well as larger appliance circuits. So if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. And thanks for watching.